Welcome back to RTN News. Let's go to Aaron O'Malley for our weekly health and wellness tips. Keeping your eye on the ball. Recently, researchers in England went out to determine whether or not casual weekend golfers could improve their game through one of two approaches. Some were instructed on their golf swing, while others were instructed to gaze fixedly at the ball before putting. The results were obvious and expected. Those novice golfers that kept their eye on the ball, called quiet eye style training, actually progressed rapidly. Specifically, Dr. Wilson, a senior lecturer in human movement at, at the University of England, noted that after, after studying, noted just how the best golfers look. He now teaches novice golfers at his lab to keep their gaze out on the back of the ball. So all in all, Wilson says, look at the right place at the right time and improvement will come your way. Tobacco companies are told to correct lies about smoking. On Tuesday, a federal judge was ordered tobacco companies to publish corrective statements that say they had lied about the dangers of smoking and that disclosed smoking's health effects, including the death on average of 1,200 people a day. The argument is that tobacco companies deliberately deceived the American public about health effects on smoking. Turn a classic spinach salad into a light main course meal with the addition of some low-fat protein. A tasty salad is perfect for this holiday season. All you need is two cups of shredded or cooked turkey or chicken breast, one six ounce bag of spinach leaves, mushrooms that are chopped, walnuts, two hard boiled eggs, diced if you like it like that. For dressing, keep it simple with a light balsamic oil vinegar and lemon juice and dig in. Looking for a quick way to tone those arms? Well, here is a way to do so in just 10 minutes. You can even show off your arms in four weeks after doing this targeted routine two to three times per week. Simply purchase or find at your gym three to eight pound dumbbells and do sit-ups. Contract your abs and slowly move up off the floor, bringing your arms slowly towards your knees. Hold for three seconds and then go down and repeat. Calories form alcoholic calories from alcoholic beverages add up rather quickly. If you go to that bar too often, you might pack up some pack on some extra calories and see these results in your stomach or love handles. About 25% of people drink alcoholic beverages on a given day. Research showed that on a given day, 19% of men and 6% of women down more than 300 calories a day from alcoholic drinks. Most people just don't think about the calorie intake when it comes to drinking. Around the holidays, some people drink more, which often leads to overeating. So be careful with how much you eat and stay safe this holiday season. <sighs> so we packing on the, uh, we have to be careful. We're not all 21 yet, right? Are we all 21 here? I'm 21. I'm 21 okay, yeah. so we can talk about that. <laughs> Um, we just have to be, make sure that we're not, you know, over drinking anything because then it might lead to overeating and we want to stay in shape and healthy, most importantly. Yeah, I never realized how much actual calories are in alcohol. You don't think about it because you're at all. I think I had that wake up call today when I was trying to button my top button. The on weight's my shirt, rising. And yeah, <laughs> the it was a lot harder than it used mm -hmm. to be. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. A gold coin was donated to the Salvation Army in Mishawaka, Indiana. A 1904 $20 gold piece was dropped into a Salvation Army kettle. George Shull, a 30-year-old bell ringer, earns on average $400 a day. The gold coin is worth $1,800 alone. Along with the coin was a quote wrapped in it from William Booth, the Salvation Army founder. The quote reads, work as if everything depended on work and pray as if everything depended on prayer. Civil war tears Syria apart, but Syrians agree that they need to protect their country's antiques and world heritage sites. Rebel fighters and ordinary citizens risk their lives to document the damage being done to Syria's history. Even Syria's current president Bashar al-Shahad's regime has joined the battle to protect the world heritage sites with the My Syria campaign. Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi grants himself judicial immunity, which has led to six days of riots across Egypt. Morsi claims the move will protect state institutions, however his opponents accuse him of trying to get absolute power. Morsi's decree also limits political discussion, which he feels will hamper his ability to put in place a new constitution and elections for a new parliament. Missing flight in Bakersfield, California, a plane disappeared from the radar on Sunday. The flight left the central California and was going to Colette, Wyoming. The Civil Air Patrol's Utah wing are, along with the local sheriff, searching for the aircraft. The last sighting of the plane was after making a, ref a refueling stop in Fillmore, Utah, with two un unidentified passengers and pilot on board. It, 
I don't know whether it's like in my head I see it as like a crazy action movie where the plane got abducted yeah. by these two unidentified people and they're like flying over like doing something crazy for the CIA but I don't know what actually happened. It's crazy to think that some, like, something so large, like a plane, can just disappear. disappear I lose things all nothing. the time, though. <laughs> I lost my phone before in my car. I couldn't find it for like an hour. My but wallet. A plane. I know, so, I, I know. <laughs> Let's get our weekly dose of celebrity entertainment news from Ander, Amber Mathis. Thanks, Tyler. Sean Diddy Combs clothing line, NYC, was among those manufactured in the Bangladesh garment factory that caught fire over the weekend. The fire killed more than 100 workers. Diddy declined comment about his clothes being made in the sweatshop. But Lee and Fung, which operates, produces, and oversees Diddy brand, did release a statement expressing sadness towards those who were killed in the fire. Lee and Fung also said a fund will be set up for the education of the victims' children. Rihanna has finally done it. The pop superstar scored her first number one album on the U.S. Billboard's 200 Albums chart, which has recently released Unapologetic. Rihanna announced on Twitter that all thanks goes to her fans. Unapologetic is Rihanna's seventh album in seven years, and her latest single, Diamonds, has spent the past two weeks on the top of the Hot 100 list, making her 12th number one hit. Britney Spears and Kevin Federline may have called it quits six years ago, but the two were bonded together by other legal issues. California tax officials say the ex-couple owe 40 grand in unpaid taxes from 2004. Britney's attorneys are confident that the star will eventually be in the clear. They believe the amount of money owed is mistaken and the matter will be resolved. Ben Affleck has been named Entertainment Weekly's Entertainment Entertainer of the Year. They are, he earned the number one spot on the magazine's annual list of the most talented and original performers. Fifteen years after he bounded into the Hollywood scene in 1997's Goodwill Hunting, the 40-year-old is one of the most well-rounded men in Hollywood. This past year, Ben captivated moviegoers both in front of and behind the camera as he directed and acted in Argo. TLC shows us yet again that they take pride in exploiting people's weird personalities and disorders. The new series, Neat Freaks, follows people that not only compulsively clean their own houses, but also public bathrooms, city buses, and strangers' homes. One person profiled spends 8 to 10 hours per day scrubbing down every inch of her home and hyperventilates at the thought of anyone stepping inside of it. The new series will have an hour-long pilot episode airing next month. I think TLC is going to run out of personality disorders soon, don't yeah. you think? I think this is the best show idea I've ever heard because I want to give <laughs> all those people my phone number and if they want to clean a stranger's apartment, they can come over to mine any day I don't mind mine. somebody comes over and does that to my dorm. Mine. I love TLC shows like, hun you know, Here Comes Honey Boo Boo, but they might have gone a little far with Does this it? one. They're strangely addicting, yeah. though, watching them. Hoarders yeah. is the Does weirdest thing ever. Does it stand for the learning channel? Yeah. Aren't, aren't you supposed to learn things from the learning. TLC? You're learning about personality yeah. disorders. <laughs> honey Boo Boo? <laughs> You're learning how to raise children. Or how not to raise children. <laughs> Thanks, Amber. Stay tuned. RTN News will be back after a short break. <laughs> 